What's up everybody, Matt here and today I'll be reviewing Blackout Issue 2. So let's get into it. So the comic opens with Scott Travers aka Blackout being arrested by the military that caught him in the destroyed lab last issue. Blackout escapes into one of his black hole, he like phases through but as doing so he gets, he pulls in a guard as well. And since the guard's not in the suit, the guard is like really cold and everything, he can't see or anything, all that sort of stuff. So he sets the soldier free and then escapes the lab with some of the files that he came there to get. Later we see the owner of, owner of the lab, Miss uh, Luca, head down to a different lab and she's there with her newly arrived security force that's sort of taken over the whole place. They're these weird looking guys, uh, they're all blonde haired and you know blue eyed, you know, that sort of stuff. And they show them this thing that they've dubbed Mark II, but we don't get to see what it is yet. Back at his apartment, Scott and Ash go through the files that are on the computer but they don't really get very far because the hard drive sort of craps out and like has like a fail safe I think to sort of stop people from getting into it. Ash suggests they try and find someone to get this type of stuff out of the hard drive you know someone tech savvy. Back at the lab we discover the Mark II's of these massive exosuit type things like kind of like a skinny version of like a Hulkbuster really um and they're, they're they're really meant for sort of help people where these guys have sort of turned them into weapons. Miss Luke is not very happy about that because um, these guys tested on some of her soldiers and you know with very good effect but she's not very happy that they're being used as weapons. Out in the desert Scott shows Ash what his suit the blackout suit can do and Ash wants to record him doing it sort of you know if you want to put it up on YouTube and stuff like that but he says no no one must know he has the suit and no one must know he owns it and all that sort of stuff. All right, he phases one more time, see how fast he can phase in and then phase out of the black hole dimension. And the comic ends with him phasing into this dimension only to find out that his suit has run out of juice or uh, whatever it runs and there's like a button on his, on his wrist and it's like glowing red and stuff. So I'm guessing it's like out of fuel or something. And he's actually gets trapped inside this sort of alternate dimension uh, so it'll be interesting to see where it goes uh, next issue pretty cool issue I'm, I'm interested to see who these guys that are getting these exosuits are since they they seem to be after uh, Scott or trying to find out who owns this blackout suit so it'll be interesting when they cross paths which I think they do actually next issue um, interesting to see how Scott gets out of this as well since he's effectively stuck in a different dimension with no real way of getting out. So I guess we'll see where this goes next issue. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10.